In this video, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, installing XMOD uh, on an EMAG or an XMAG and just kind of the process you go through. So the very first thing you need to do is you need to go to, well, you need to buy the hardware uh, and then you can get that on eBay uh, or on the forums. Uh, the second thing you need to do is go to uh, the website of the maker, which is uh, www.nietech.com dot com and register and then from there you can go into the download section uh, that has the XMOD software user guide and it used to have some of the uh, airgun design software but I don't believe uh, they have that anymore once you have uh, the user's guide uh, and software uh, downloaded and you have a copy of the hardware, uh, first of all the hardware looks like this, uh, you open up the user's guide and it has pretty good uh, detailed instructions but one of the first things you need to do is uh, install this uh, AVR Studio software uh, which you can actually get uh, over at the uh, ATMEL site. Um, you're going to go down and kind of scroll through just a crap load of, of different um, explain training documents as well as service packs. Um, for the actual studio software, I think the latest release, you have to register, so it's not a big deal. You're not going to get, um, you're probably not going to get spammed with email, but you have to register. Uh, so you're going to get that uh, and go ahead and install, start installing that. And kind of the second uh, or third thing you're going to want to do is you're actually going to want to plug in the, uh, the actual programmer uh, into your computer with a USB uh, cable. And you're going to want to install the drivers, which you can actually get on the, uh, on the creator's website. And I believe that um, it's part of the AVR software as well to, uh, to update that driver. But you can see it's plugged in little red lights on and you can see the cable this is the cable that's actually going to connect to the uh, to the XMAG or EMAG uh, board. So now I'm actually going to go into the uh, the XMAG board and I'm going to uh, take out these two wires right here or dis disconnect them and plug in uh, from the programmer in those slots. So I open the AVR Studio software and I go straight to Tools AVR Programmer and um, it initially gave me an error. So uh, just like the user guy says, I had to go to Device Manager, um, right click on Properties, um, go to Port Settings, Advanced, and switch the port number to 1 through 4. So I got all that set up and we're good to go so I'm now in the uh, programmer screen where I actually pick uh, which hex file to load uh, to the actual board so from here again just like the directions say I changed the device setting uh, and now I'm choosing um, after you can save uh, your current software if you want to I actually already had a copy of the uh, 3.2 software I'm gonna browse and uh, choose one of the uh, programs to load for the XMOD 1.8. And from here, I'm just going to push the program button. And you'll actually see it just flashed on the board over here uh, of the gun, Beta 1.8, so it loaded successfully. Um, at this point, all I'm going to do is just uh, re-plug in the cables correctly. Kind of only one way to do that, but just be careful, obviously, because uh, boards are expensive. Uh, and then I should be good to go. There's a lot of stuff that the, um, the beta software uh, can uncover. There's kind of a whole debug section if your uh, solenoid was wired backwards from the factory um, and stuff like that. Uh, that becomes more of an issue if you go into some of the faster burst settings um, but otherwise you're good to go a lot of the cool features on this I covered in my other video but obviously one of the main ones uh, for me at least uh, is being able to quickly and easily test the ACE settings and that's all